Hello, this is Katie, and um, since Valentine's passed before I could make more, I guess that is over. So I'm going to be showing you a birthday card. Um, hopefully you can hear me okay. The washer is going literally right next to me, so it's kind of loud. Um, so this is, uh, this is only pre-cut because it was one of my cards for the card class I did last Sunday, where we did a couple birthday cards and a thank you. So this one is just a card by itself. This is the card base. So just a regular four and a quarter by five and a half. And then this I want to say is about a quarter of an inch shorter on all four sides. And so we've got just that individual card. So we'll start with that piece. And the first thing that we want to do <clears throat> is stick these down. It's going to kind of look like a present. And so that what you can do uh, let's see, I need to grab a pair of scissors, pack them all away for the class. You could run your adhesive on the paper uh, and then stick this down and then trim it off, or you can hold it where you want it, kind of off to the left there, and then just hold it down and trim off so you know exactly how long it's going to be so we can put our adhesive maybe on the strip itself. Uh, so I'll run some adhesive along there. I just refilled my gun so it's a little sticky to get started. I didn't have any scrap paper to try it on. So, okay, so we'll run it down the other side so we've got it covered. I just want to make sure there's no glue on the outside. <clears throat> okay, then we'll run that down the side of that card piece. And then we'll do the same thing for the one crossing to the right. And then hold that down and trim that off. I actually need that part. <clears throat> then I'll put some adhesive on both sides of this one. Just so we have the whole back covered there. And if you have any glue going over, you can always just kind of fold it behind, it'll be fine. Okay, so then put that right about here. You can put it as high as low, as high or as low as you want. And that ended up being just a little too long, so I can trim that off still. Okay, then I have this um, die from Little Inker Designs. I think it's the mini bow. It doesn't have a label, but it gives you three pieces. And so to put that together, uh, we're going to use the Zots or glue dots. And the small ones are probably a little better. Sometimes they almost get to the size of mediums because it's not a perfect science, but a lot of them are small. So you can kind of see how they change and size and it's really hard to see them when you're working with them because they're pretty invisible on the sheet but the first thing we want to do is actually stick down the back of the bow so I'm going to pick up a glue dot right in the middle this is how I use them I just stick the paper to that and pick it up I don't use my fingers because it tends to get very sticky and you don't want to have to fight these things off of your fingers then we want to put one in the middle back of this part of the bow and pick that up. Then when you bend this around the back to create that bow, maybe this will focus. Sorry, I don't know if this camera will do that. I'll try and hold it out here. Uh, when you go to bend it around the back to meet the point in the middle, you want to pinch just here. You don't want to squeeze that flat because you want to keep that bow look to it. Then we want to put another one in the back so that we can bring the other side around. So you want to do the same thing. Just kind of meet it in the middle and pinch it at the middle so that we're not creating a crease. You may create a tiny crease but we don't flatten the bow basically. Then we have another glue dot in the back again 
and we'll take this piece, which is kind of like the, the tie around it. You wanna just place that in the middle and then you wanna meet that glue dot in the back so it'll stick down. So we're taking that halfway, pinching that, and that should be enclosed. Then you've got your bow. Then we want one more glue dot in the back middle so we can stick it down to the project here, the card. Okay, so I've got a glue dot on the back now. I just wanna center that here and press down. And once you do this, this one press down, I would try not to wiggle it too much because it can with those glue dots. And they may not necessarily dry per se, but um, they'll kind of harden up, I think. So you can just leave that alone there. And then I'll take the VersaFine Onyx Black ink and stamp the sentiment, which is from a Mama Elephant set. Um, I think it's the, let's see. It's the birthday set. I don't think I left my stamp set out. It's not that one. It's from this one. So the Mama Elephant Make-A-Wish, which is the stamp we're using. Um, that Make-A-Wish, this is the one we're using right here. And I haven't labeled this one yet. Okay. So I wanna make sure I don't have any hairs. Um, when I made the first sample of this card, there were some hairs on the stamp. And since this is so inky, it looked like inky little hairs were kind of everywhere when I stamped it. So I want to avoid that look get a good stamp on that and then just somewhere in the middle or the bottom right or wherever you want to stamp the sentiment. That one looks a lot better than my last one. Okay, so we've got our little present and then we're going to adhere it to the front and lift it up with some foam tape to give it some dimension. Put my glue dots back in their box here. Okay, then I've got my foam tape and again, this stuff is pretty easy to tear, so you can tear or cut it if you want to measure it exactly. I am pretty liberal with it because I want to support the card. I don't want to have to worry about it sagging or crushing in the mail. Um, unfortunately, a lot of my cards don't look very good after they've gone through the mail if I do raise them up with foam tape, and I don't really know how to prevent that, honestly, other than trying to give it some more support. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions or if you have had something work for you, feel free to comment below and let me know. Um, but I do like using the foam tape. It just gets very wrinkly and kind of crushed in the mail. So they don't look as cute as when I send them out, unfortunately. Okay. So I'm going to give one more little piece in this upper corner here. Just to give that corner some support there. And this is the front of the card, so I'll just make sure that that's centered where I want it. And then press it down. Try not to press on your sentiment if you've used VersaFine or some pigmenty ink, because it'll probably smear. And then you've got your present card. And I have a couple birthday cards to send out, so this will come in handy. And I'm late on a couple of them, unfortunately. Uh, but there you go. And you can change this a little bit if you don't have a bow die. Um, then you could probably just cut the pieces yourself, honestly. Um, kind of how they look here. Maybe just without the stitching and kind of create your own bow. Or look up some tutorials on creating your own paper bows. Uh, just little flat bows. Or you could even tie... A ribbon bow and stick that down as well so there you go thank you for watching bye